Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Rustic Waters with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the sluice can play that game, which is we craft ourselves a sluice. We use that sluice to gain some, you know, uh, metal resources, which we then smelted down in uh, our kiln, in the which we got from the License to Kiln quest. Uh, we actually upgraded that kiln all the way up to the Prismarine one. It is super, super simple to do with all the resources available, available to you right now in the game. So it's definitely something you can get very, very early on. Basically, just using the sluice uh, and the sieve that we, um, you know, gotten uh, the last couple of times. Uh, if you open it up, you get your two, uh, you know, smelting spots, which is absolutely perfect. It really speeds up your smelting and it is a little bit quicker of a smelter uh, to boot. Uh, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go jump over to this bed bugs uh, quest. That is because uh, the point of this quest is to get six stone and the next couple of quests that we're going to do all require some stone. So I got to do this one sooner rather than later and I might as well do it right now to get stone in our world you know uh we could probably get it down below you know we get cobblestone we could probably mine up some down there we are started with some stone a little bit of cobblestone that you could smelt into stone uh and then we get a little bit of cobblestone here in our little world that we can mine up uh all of those would be legitimate ways of doing it but um, if you've got your sluices already going, not your sluices, if you've got your uh, strainers already going, then there's a good chance you are getting some stone here. Now, the stone comes from the survivalist uh, strainer. That is the um, the simple one. Uh, the uh, survivalist strainer dense version does not uh, give you stone. It gives you a couple of the things instead. Oh, boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What's going on? Holy cow. I'm being attacked by a shark. Uh, this has never happened. This did not happen in the test, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. That's, that was scary. That was, that was horrible. I've never had that happen before. Okay. So really quickly now, I'm going to stop talking while I'm doing this. Well, he's even got teeth on him. Look at that. Is he going to come after me? All right. Really quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to grab that stone. We need 20 pieces. We need six pieces of stone for the quest. Uh, I'm going to need 20 pieces for the next step that I'm going to work on. So there we go. So there is bed bugs. That is, I'm glad I got that on camera because that, that did not happen when I was doing the, uh, the test run here. So we got the stone. That's perfect. Let's open that up. Uh, six stone complete. Uh, we're going to go claim a reward with this, which is this opacium, opacium. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. And there's a little blurb up here about when you die, you, you don't lose your items, uh, but your items do lose 60% of their max durability and powered items lose 80%. That doesn't really have anything to do with what we're going to be doing today. That's more with the next step with that opacium and that where you can craft some items that will help you teleport back to base. And we're going to work on that when we actually do a little bit of exploration. Uh, right now, that's a little bit beyond where we're at. Uh, but what I want to do for the next quest here is do this tool refining, and that is to make ourselves a mechanical toolbox. Uh, this is something that's going to help us with our artisan tool tables. Now, to make a mechanical toolbox, uh, we are going to need four stone gears, which is why we needed the stone in our world. So we're going to go take uh, 20 of that, and we're just going to make a little cross in our uh, workbench here, very similar to the wooden gears. So uh, five stone in a cross pattern gets us one stone gear. We need four of them. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four stone gears with the four wood blocks and a chest uh, in a workbench gets us a mechanical toolbox. Now, this is a cool little... Um, you know, block that's going to make uh, using these uh, artisan tables just a little bit easier. Now, the way I've got my artisan table set up right now is this is not going to actually work because I've kind of broken the system. Basically, when you open up your artisan table, if it's connected to other artisan tables in a chain, uh, you'll get tabs up here very similar to the Tinker's Tables tabs where you can flip back and forth uh, between those tables and do your crafting and then move on. Because I've got more than uh, one of each in this chain, I've, I've kind of broken it because I don't think it knows which tab, like it would only have one tab per table type. And it's like, well, which table are you trying to use? So I've broken that. And even if I put this uh, toolbox down, it's already in my toolbar. Um, 
it doesn't pop up here because it should be popping up right here on the side. So all I got to do, and this is something to keep in mind if you've got more than one. If I break that, we now have a complete chain of one each. And now I've got my tabs to flip back and forth. And then I've got access to my trader's workshop. The reason that I did this is so I can preset up stuff uh, for videos. So chances are you're not going to have more than one or two of these in your world anyways. The reason you might want to have more than one is you can have different fluids in here and you might want to have one that has one type of fluid and one that has a different type of fluid. And then, you know, especially when you're doing automation and stuff like that, then you don't have to worry about pulling fluid out and putting new fluid in uh, just to make something different. So that is a, maybe a reason to have more than one, uh, but chances are you're not going to want to have like five in a row like I did. But the point is we can now go and steal all of these artisan tools and we can go and throw these into uh, this workbench. Oh, not the chest. There you go. So there are all of our existing tools. If I go and open up this uh, Trader's Workshop, you can see we now can see them on the uh, left-hand side there. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go swap this one out here. The tool tip for the toolbox says that it will replace your uh, tool if it breaks. I've never been able to get that to work. And I don't know if I'm just missing something or if, um, I don't know, I did, I, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I'm not too sure. But just as a demo here, we're going to go and create ourselves some wooden chests. You always need wooden chests. You know, they come in very, very handy. I've only got five durability left on this artisan stone knife. I've got a wooden stone knife over here and a bunch of other artisan stone knives. All I got to do is I got to take that out. You see the tool breaks, it doesn't replace it like it says it was going to, but all I got to do is I got to grab it and I can put it back in there. So still way, way better than me having to go out, build another one or go find another one and then go and put it in there and then do the crafting thing. So I could easily see how many backup tools I've got as well. If I start getting low on the knives, well, I know let's go make a you know half dozen knives and throw them in there and then we're all ready to go for the future. So uh, that is perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. Uh, and you know what? That's going to be it for this one, guys. It was a short little one. We had a little bit of excitement there in the middle, uh, but if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please leave a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters, but that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.